guys welcome back okay so today I want to just go ahead and use some of the products that I picked in my shop my stash number two just in case you're watching this video out of order or just came across this video hi welcome <laughs> but yeah these are items from shop my stash number two so and I'm really excited to try out some of these items because I'm very curious also today for my eyeshadow I'm going to be using a palette that I created um, this is one of my empty magnetic eyeshadow palettes that I picked up from Sephora I think it's by Tarte one of their cute little camo um, palettes and these are the shadows that I chose to play around with today I did go ahead and grab these out of my singles so there's a combination of shadows in here some from ColourPop some um, older ones from Makeup Geek I purchased them on sale prior to their new relaunch and there's a couple of shimmers in here from Shroud Cosmetics like their last trio that they launched right around the holidays so I just kind of created my own little palette picked out some colors to play with so hopefully this works out <laughs> okay but this is what it looks like I'll go ahead and just insert a picture with the brand and the shadow names so that you guys can see that and know because I'm not gonna be picking these up and reading the names and stuff it takes too much time so I'll go ahead and do that for you guys so you'll know what brand and what shade it is just in case you're curious but yeah it's a little combination palette I created there so let's get started I'm gonna start out with actually my face is nice and clean I'm gonna start out with trying out this face oil that I grabbed <sighs> This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. This is what it looks like. Very, very pretty, gorgeous. And I was able to smell it through the box. So I know it smells really good. Yeah, it smells like roses, but you know, it comes with the little dropper. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this on my face. I just wanna see what it feels like. I typically would steer away from face oils back in the day because I used to be really, really oily. Like my skin would get really oily. And so of course I was like, I'm not putting oil on my face because it's already oily enough. But you know, now that I am experiencing some changes with my skin, you know, it's a little bit more normal, I think. And I do occasionally get some dry areas like around my nose and stuff. Kind of depends on the weather to be honest with you but yeah I've experienced some changes in my skin so I'm not really afraid of oils anymore like I used to be it smells good and usually these facial oils are so super duper light it's not like you're putting Crisco on your face or anything they're <laughs> just really light and just kind of add some hydration you know to your skin and you know essential oils so it feels very nice and it smells good and I don't feel like I look like a grease ball so we'll see how this wears when I start putting my makeup on I am still using my Glossier this is the minty lip balm that I was using for the past couple of weeks I'm still using it I figure I may as well try and use it up I don't know if it's actually doing anything to my lips but it feels really good when I put it on smells like mint so it tingles a little bit and I like it so now that that rose oil has had a chance to kind of soak into my skin and become one with my face <laughs> I'm gonna go in with some of this touch and soul glassy uh, skin balm and just put a little bit of this on my face as well this is what it looks like just in case you're not aware it's just a nice creamy balm and I just want to use a little bit of that Now this stuff really leaves your face looking nicely hydrated <laughs> and youthful. You definitely get a youthful glow using this stuff. Okay, so the first new item I'm trying out today is by Billion Dollar Brows. It says it's the best brow kit ever. And as you can see, it's a little kit. It comes with a brow pencil, um, a highlighting and a conceal, a dual ended pencil 
a smudging brush and a brow gel so I typically don't use brow gels because as you can see I really don't have much hair <laughs> for my brows but um, I don't know I might try it out a little bit today we'll see so I'm gonna start out with the pencil and I'm just gonna use the spoolie in to brush up the brow hairs that I do have and this is what the actual brow product looks like so I don't really have high hopes for this because the brow products that I use are quite a bit darker than what this looks like so I'm just gonna go in and see what happens okay so yeah um it's a no for me dog <laughs> Yeah, it is definitely not working for me. It's too light. It looks kind of gray, actually. As you can see, it's like it's looking gray as I'm drawing it on. So I'm not even going to waste my time trying to fill this in and clean them up because it's not dark enough for me. So I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil and then we will move on to the eyes. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I kind of feel like with them making it that universal gray shade that instead of making it so everybody can use it, they kind of made it to where a lot of people can't use it. So I don't know. I don't even want to fool with these other products, the dual ended whatever and this brow gel because honey, I ain't got time. Okay, so lately I've been using my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer and I've really, really been liking this stuff, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this. I'm using a lot of natural lighting today, you guys. So if it looks a little different, that's why. Now, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to start out with this orange shade here and place some of that on the inner portion of my lid. I just know I want something super colorful, but not too outrageous. Okay. So this orange is nicely pigmented. I'm just building it up to kind of get that nice, rich opacity from this shadow. Now I'm gonna go into this rich, dark purple shade here and place that next to the orange. And I'm just kind of tapping it down before I blend. Okay, now that I have that orange and purple blended, I'm gonna go in with some of my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and cut my crease. Now I'm gonna go into this green shade and place that on the outer portions of my cut crease. Okay, now I'm going back into the matte purple shade, place that right next to the green. It's funny because that purple shade looks more blue on the white base than purple. Okay, so now I do want to use some of these shimmers that I chose. So I'm going to go in with this gorgeous kind of magenta shade here. Fuchsia, magenta, 
and place that right next to that purple. And I'm not going to spray my brush because these shimmers are pretty pigmented. You see that pigmentation? Crazy. That's so pretty. Okay, next I'm going to go into this gorgeous shimmery orange shade. You guys, these Shroud Cosmetics shimmers are so pretty. And they blend together like a dream. Okay, and the last one I'm going to go into is this beautiful green shade here. Okay, so I like how this is coming together. I swear I was not trying to do a rainbow look today, but it's looking kind of rainbow. <laughs> you guys are probably like, uh, with those colors you picked, KK? Yeah, you were trying to do a rainbow, but I really wasn't. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on some of my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and move on to the face because for you guys, the eyes have probably been about 10 minutes. For me, it's been over an hour, <laughs> so I'm ready to move on. I think today I'm going to try this Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer, this coconut one. This is what it looks like. I might have to close my blinds because the sun is creating lines, I think. Ooh, okay. So it's kind of runny. <laughs> I mean, it's like, ooh. It's thick and runny at the same time, so yeah. Let me get this on my face before I drop it. Mm, it smells good. It smells it smells more like banana to me than coconut, though. Yeah, let me close my blinds. Okay, I had to switch to artificial lighting because the sun was coming in too strong. So this primer, I guess it's like a cream to water formula. And it definitely feels that way because it feels like water, basically, <laughs> going on my skin. So if you don't like the smell of artificial coconuts or banana or tropical, things like that, then you probably won't like the smell of this. Yeah, it smells like artificial pina colada or something. It's okay. Yeah, it just feels like a cream that turned into like a water consistency. But I feel like it's soaking into my skin rather quickly. So that's nice. But I definitely don't feel like it's going to do anything with my pores, which is not good. Because my pores clock in every morning, honey. <laughs> every morning. So I'm gonna try out this Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup. It says it's oil-free. I'm gonna try this out, like I said, in my Shop My Stash. I think it's a little too light for me, but it seems like a very lightweight formula, so I'm hoping that it won't be too, too light where I can't correct it with my powder. And because it seems like a lightweight formula, I'm going to go in with some of my Pretty Vulgar Concealer to conceal my dark circles and hyperpigmentation around my mouth before I use the foundation. Now this foundation does come with like, you know, the paddle applicator. And I did pick it up from Walmart for about four bucks, I believe. So I'm just gonna go in with some of this Pretty Vulgar I don't know if I mentioned before, but this pretty vulgar concealer, it does have a little bit of a paint smell to it. 
does have that paint smell. So I'm just kind of spot concealing and I'm just using my sponge to kind of gently tap that concealer in before I go in with the foundation. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a few dabs on this side just to kind of see how it's going to apply. I don't know if this is one where I should use a brush. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and do my whole face <laughs> before I kind of know how I feel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my whole face and then let you know my thoughts. You guys, it's very hard for me to describe my thoughts about this foundation. It's interesting. I really like it. It's very lightweight. It kind of feels like it's just absorbing into my skin, kind of like you, but better. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like I can't feel any heaviness or anything on my face. It's very lightweight. It just kind of absorbs. It doesn't feel like it's sitting on my skin and the color I mean, I feel like the color is pretty decent, even though it seems like it's a little light for me because of the fact that it just kind of marries with my skin, it's working out. So I really like it. I don't know, I'll have to finish my whole face and see what happens. I'm gonna go in around my mouth with a little bit more of my Pretty Vulgar because with using a sponge, you know, it kind of takes away the coverage but yeah so far I'm liking this foundation because it's not matte and it's not super dewy it's just a nice and natural coverage so now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my NYX born to glow under my eyes and see this color might be a little bit too close to this foundation shade but I'm just gonna add just a little bit oh no it's a little bit lighter so that's perfect just a little bit to kind of add a little bit of brightening okay i think that is working really well with the foundation i like that nyx concealer it's very very nice I think for this foundation, if you like something that has kind of like a lightweight natural coverage, if you don't have a lot of issues on your face, like I do with the hyperpigmentation and the dark circles and stuff, I think this is a really nice lightweight coverage. It's not heavy, oily, shiny, anything like that. I like it. I'll just have to see how it wears throughout the day. Now I'm gonna go in with some of this Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, trying it out for the first time under my eyes. Hopefully it doesn't mess everything up because I think I'm doing okay right now. <laughs> Okay, so that's very, very smooth. I did pick it in the shade Almond, I believe, and it is a little bit darker than I prefer for under my eyes. I do like something a little bit lighter under my eyes just for brightening purposes, but this is not too bad. It'll do, it'll do, <laughs> because I don't use loose powder all over my face. But this is a shade that actually I probably could do that with. Let's see how it does on these pores. Okay, that is looking really, really good. Very smooth, very light. I like that a lot. Okay, but I'm going to try out this L'Oreal True Match because I'm used to setting my face with a pressed powder. So I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match powder that I got and see how I like it. I think these powders are very close in shade, actually. They look to be 
almost the same color. If you want a loose powder and a pressed powder that are <laughs> the same color, it looks like these two are a good match. Okay, so for bronzer, I chose my Morphe bronzer. This one is the Showmance bronzer, and I also chose my Milani. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Morphe today. It looks a little bit darker, so I'm gonna try this one out. That's very warm. I like that, very, very warm. Okay, I think I might've went a little ham with the bronzer, but it's all good. <laughs> I like this bronzer, it's very, very nice. Okay guys, so for blush today, I'm gonna go in with my the Saharan Blush Volume 1 from Juvia's Place. I haven't used this in quite a while. These blushes are serious, okay? Uh, I think I'm going to, ooh, do I wanna do that? Yeah, I'm going to go in with this really bright pink shade here and just try to take it easy. Look how pigmented that is. I just barely tapped into it. Ugh. And for highlight, I actually have a couple of new highlighter um, palettes to try out, but I kind of just want to stick with this palette uh, from Juvia's. So I'm going to go into this shade here and use that to highlight. Okay, you guys, I think we're doing all right with the complexion. I'm happy so far with everything. Okay, I'm gonna go in on my lower lash line with this cobalt blue eyeliner from Profusion. And I think just to gently smoke out my lower lash line without too much color, I'm gonna go in with this pretty, it's kind of like a, a brown, but it has a little bit of plum in it, I believe. I don't know. But I'm gonna take this and smoke out my lower lash line. Now I didn't really choose a shade for an inner corner pop and I kind of want to keep it toned down a little bit. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep my inner corner toned down a little bit, but I am going to go in with a little bit more of that green just on the inner portion of my lower lash line, just to kind of bring the look together. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to pop on some lashes, find a lip for this look, and then we'll go ahead and finish up. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for today using my Shop My Stash number two. Um, I'm loving this little eyeshadow palette I created. I know it's a little bold, but I like it, okay? I think it's cute. <laughs> And it's definitely something that's nice and colorful. It has a little bit of a grungy look to it, but I like it. I would say I like everything that I tried out today. The Wet n Wild Coconut Primer kind of seems a bit useless because I don't know what it does, but whatever. Um, didn't feel in my pores, that's for sure. That foundation, I don't know, y'all. I'm kind of liking the little $4 Black Radiance Foundation. Of course, you guys know I will have another check-in uh, letting you know because I'll be using this stuff for the next week or two. But yeah, I'll give you an update on it. But so far, first impression, I'm feeling it. I would say out of all the products that I used today, the only thing that I just did not like, of course, was this brow kit from Billion Dollar Brows. This is not for me, period. <laughs> so 
yeah, I'm not into gray brows, so no thank you. Everything else though, I'm happy with. So that's it for today. I won't talk too much. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you had a good time and I will see you on my next video. Toodles. <laughs>